Welcome to the podcast, voted one of the best in the marketing research industry, first in 2019 and, to no one's surprise, 2020. This is Research Business Daily Report, the only daily research video news report presenting a top story every day that is relevant to many members of the research industry. Now, RBDR does rely on viewer support, and you can pitch in from your side at patreon.com slash rbdr, and we'll talk to you more about this later. My name is Bob Lederer, and I'm in my 26th year with the respected voice in market research. As COVID flared state by state across the United States in 2020, we were not alone in openly posing rhetorical questions about what was happening with client insights departments and to research generally. Well, the answer has slowly come to pass, oozing to the surface ever so slowly. And recently, Cambiar founder Simon Chadwick blogged about how the U.S. market research industry as a whole performed in 2020. He referred to several different sources. He pointed out a handful of areas that, while small overall, did grow substantially. And there were a few, he said, that kind of fell back. Here's Simon with the details from the Happy Recap. In the early days of COVID, forecasts for the health of the insights industry were dire, with a decline in revenues of over 20% being put forward as a possibility. While SMR data will show that there was indeed a downturn in 2020, the United States was the one country that stood out in bucking that trend. Expectations of the demise of our industry short-term or maybe worse, proved overstated. Recent reports from the Insights Association, Green Book, and the ARF paint a picture of an industry not just surviving, but thriving. First, the Insights Association revealed that the U.S. research industry grew last year by 3.8% against the national drop in GDP of 3.5%. Where did this growth come from? Self-service research and enterprise feedback management platforms led the way with growth of 35% and 22% respectively. While these segments only comprise 4% of the total industry, their very positive results point to the way in which our industry is indeed developing. The second positive area was large management consulting firms. These firms' research revenues grew by 21%. This segment used to be comparatively small, yet it now represents over 10% of the market. This result also portends positive future results. We'll tell you why in a moment. Research's third happy story came from sample providers. This group benefited from the trends I've just mentioned and grew a healthy 14%. Of course, some functional areas took their lumps. Business for full service research firms contracted very slightly, but even those stories varied considerably. As one might expect, some performed really well and others suffered. It's important to note that some of the underperforming full service operations were unfortunately victims of the ill fortunes of the industries in which they specialized. All of this paints a picture of remarkable resilience. Why is that the case? We need to look to our clients for the answer. Many corporate insights leaders will tell you the pandemic thrust them and their departments into the limelight and extraordinary increases in demand. Companies found themselves in a position where managements wanted, indeed needed, to know what's happening. Not long after, what's going to happen became the paramount focus, followed in short order by where do we go from here? The remarkable speed with which COVID hit across America exploded corporate demand for insights, and more importantly, their strategic implications in timeframes that made the faster and better, faster, cheaper pale in comparison. Understandably, overnight, that increased reliance on self-serve platforms. 
thus freeing up budgets to be able to respond to larger strategic questions. That momentum in turn propelled remarkable innovation to deliver corporations desperate knowledge needs. As Green Book's latest GRIT report shows, the most innovative companies of 2020 were not only the res tech companies, but also full service agencies that adapted overnight, both in terms of agility and relevance. We can see now that corporate insights and their information cousins in analytics strongly delivered during the crisis. The conclusion of an eye-opening ARF study showed that management and stakeholders within its corporate members resoundingly reported that their insights functions contributed to financial performance, were relied on to take decisions, generated a high ROI, and gave those businesses a competitive advantage. In other words, research significantly shifted away from its dreaded perception as a line item to what every research function has long coveted, a reliable, necessary, high ROI functional investment area. The big question now is, can we stay there? The answer to that rests with us. We've proven we can execute in the worst of circumstances Will corporate managements continue to look at, to their insights departments? And do we need the under the gun motivation that 2020 imposed upon us to keep up with the momentum? Time will tell. That's a wrap on today's Research Business Daily Report. As we mentioned at the start today, we hope you'll become a supporter, what we call an RBDR supporter, because our video series is viewer supported. A Patreon supporter agrees to provide a monthly contribution, perhaps $10 for an individual, $25 or more for a company, and both help us maintain the excellence of our reporting. So what can we do right now to earn your support? Well, to exhort you to keep watching RBDR, whether it's once in a while or with great regularity, because you're going to find information that you will find transferable, usable in your job, and passable on to people inside your company and to friends and peers outside the company. And so, if you visit patreon.com slash rbdr, you can decide what level of support you are most comfortable with. And we thank you in advance for whatever decision you make. We hope you have a good research day, and we'll be back here tomorrow and ready for you to join us as well. And until then, please stay safe.